Hey everyone, this is FDA with a stuffy nose just coming to bring you a quick uh, intro before we start these next, this, this part, part uh, 14 and 15. I'm using the same intro for both videos because I'm lazy as shit. Uh, you may have seen on Twitter that I put up a poll asking, uh, basically explaining that two parts of, of this LP, namely the part you're currently watching, uh, was recorded unfortunately not with the usual mic uh, we use, but with my laptop's built-in microphone as I fucked up on Audacity, because I'm an idiot. Um, I tried to clean it up as best as I could, but you'll notice uh, we're very loud, there's this very uh, obnoxious mm. um, that happens a lot of the time. Ah. I run up a poll for people asking what they wanted us to do, and most people wanted us just to redo the audio, but Stefan said don't. Um, so if you hate this, please everyone tweet at the games enlisted with you ruined this LP and got FTCR demonetized. Canada sucks. Okay, bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome back, finally, to the Simpsons Hit and Run LP, you may have noticed a few things. This is not the car we had at the end of the last part. Since then, we, Theodore and myself, have done two different recording sessions where each fucking time the our memory card did not say we had to read the missions. <laughs> we are also joined by my No Nuts fan. Um, and it's me. I got no nuts. TJ spent the last 20 minutes making that stupid trembling noise. <laughs> And that is all he's going to do, most likely, for this recording session. We should have had him do that during Gunman Quiet. <laughs> that would have every time someone got shot. So, in this shot, Abe Simpson represents Start Mission, and Marge Simpson represents Cancel, which you won't pick. <laughs> That's what that deserved, honestly. <laughs> If you honestly do not ever make that noise, I am going to thump you. He's going to make you do this mission again if you do it TJ. <laughs> so, um, you know, I know we... we oh, fuck. I know at some point, Chris, we... we <laughs> shut the fuck up, TJ! I know at some point we had you... And it's that but I can't remember if... I think the last part we had you was one of the... You were by a pier. Like a boardwalk area. Oh, really? Oh. Jesus! TJ. I even like it a lot. But no, Jesus! Like... Oh. <laughs> 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 Fuck you! <laughs> Good night, everybody! <laughs> God damn it, I hate you, Theodore. <laughs> so we had Chris on one of the, uh, oh. one of the redo parts. Oh, so I don't think that got published. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> just because I can't remember, but even if we did, it was it was a while ago. Chris, you ex briefly sum up your experience with The Simpsons in general. Uh, well, it all started when I hit King K. Rool. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. I, started getting, <laughs> I started getting The Simpsons around like age nine. Our local Fox uh, subsidiary or whatever the hell. Showed The Simpsons, and I was getting into it. Then they swapped out the 5 p.m. slot for Family Feud, and I have no idea where The Simpsons went. So I... That's basically my experience with The Simpsons, other than watching the movie in theaters. But just as I was literally getting into it, like, I was coming home from school, like, I can't wait to watch The Simpsons today. Hey, you know, it's, uh, it's still one of those uh, Family Feud, yeah, you know, I got cars. And that's always that, like, is that your impression of uh, Louis Anderson? No, it's Jay Leno. Oh. Back when he hosted Family Feud, he get Yeah, so, uh... What's the thing that we eat? Bugs Bunny? What the fuck is that? What's okay so you put your foot on it, buddy? Uh, is, it, is it a car? Nice. Oh, don't get rid of it. No! Don't get rid of the doom buggy. It'll make you go It oh, sucks! Or... No, dude, I can do it! Dude, you wanna do it? Yeah! You wanna do it? Yeah! Cut the fucking K roll, cut dumpster! Oh, <laughs> that was a little unnecessary. But I liked it. <laughs> So hopefully if he plays now, he'll just shut the fuck up and make the noise of his six seconds. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gee! God damn it, TJ! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, favorite, have you any experience with this, aside from the part you were in, which may or may not have actually gone live, any experience with this game? My neighbor. He's doing the mission. I can't select it until he stands up. 
My neighbor rented this game a lot, so I watched him play it a lot. Yeah. And that's it. I have nothing interesting to say about The Simpsons. Because, I mean, obviously we did on a uh, All-Stars game in last season, you and I did Road Rage. Yeah. Which was, obviously, the precursor to this. Um, and your controller didn't work, and we had a great time. It did. The controller didn't work? One of us had to constantly be turning left for some reason. Yeah. Uh, and some button puts weren't working, maybe. That was fun. Oh, it wasn't. It's fun to watch someone else play their game. So we are about roughly... Try going through that way, maybe the buddies are over there. So we are about roughly halfway through the game. There are seven levels. No. No, we're over that because there are seven levels and we are in uh, level four. Okay, you're over halfway. Yeah, you're over halfway. Finally. <laughs> Finally. How long have you guys been... I'm going to break the seal here. How long have you guys been LPing this game? I think six months. That's not as bad as I thought. Because so many times, because well, normally, you know, we, we get together once a week to do, um... Turkey Dazzle. Turkey Dazzle, yes, friend. But so many times, like, uh, either uh, TJ will get late, or, like, when he gets there, after what's been for a little bit, so we can't start straight away, what have you. And a bunch of times, obviously, the, um... That we that show takes a precedent because people pay for that. Um, so, uh, oh fuck, you missed it. TJ, how could you do that? Uh, and so, like, like, like last week, for example, the plan was we were gonna, and even in the podcast, we were like, yeah, we're gonna fucking do it. We're gonna fucking, we're gonna fucking do some Simpsons. And then TJ was like, I'd, I'd rather play Smash. Should we stream that play Smash for Simpsons? Yeah. Hashtag content. So now we're eating our vegetables. We're, uh, we're, we're doing this LP that we wanted to do for a long time. Um, and now it's just like a chore. That was just TJ doing fucking K. Rules over and over again. Oh, oh. I hate you, dude, all so much. Why? You love that <laughs> Pick up the pills! What the fuck? Give him a break. Give you did think you dropped the IFTJ! Are you freaking me off a piece of that Chrysler car? It's gonna be one of those park scares. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the, uh, the spiral. over it. So what do you guys think about Marvel movies, not shit. <laughs> well, you know what? We well, I have a lot of opinions. <laughs> before, before Ultimate came out, most of our parts were us talking about Ultimate, and TJ complaining about Fire Emblem and Bayonetta. Oh. So much so that for the first time, TJ was getting shit in the comments. Yeah, good. Bad taste Aquarium TJ over there. Well, from a little I can't believe there's so many people with swords in this game. <laughs> they both have blue hair. I, I can make one of them wear gold, but that's weird. Dude, there was a fucking tweet. It was like, Sonic is a fire emblem character. Oh, yeah. Confirm, blue sword. hair, has a sword, fight for the Black Knight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I won't lie. When they when they first dropped, when they, you know, in the uh, in that video where they were showing you, like, here were all the assist trophies, and the Black Knight dropped, Pine was like, are you fucking this from Sonic and the Black Knight? That's a that's pretty deep cut, Because their designs are pretty similar. Like, I was like, is that fucking from Sonic and the Black Knight? Motherfucker, don't talk about that! Motherfucker! Take me down, take me, take me, take me! You ready to shit? Motherfucker, shut up here! Talk to Nelson. Wait a moment first. No, it just takes too long. You take too long. Did you just give him a gang sign? <laughs> West Side, Mobo! Flashed him the gang sign and you're just like, alright, here's your mission. <laughs> <laughs> So when when you when you used to watch your neighbor, uh, like what were your impressions? Like did you think it looked good? Well, you know, I really liked watching the thumbs move. I wasn't so much about <laughs> watching them play the game. They looked fun. Like I had no experience with Grand Theft Auto. I was a wholly, um, fully good young boy. I'd never played a, a Gitta, but it looked fun. You know, it made me wish I knew more about the Simpsons. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely know. some good, like, references in this game. Yeah, typically, like, the video games, I think we said this in the past, but typically the video games that are like, me the comic books would be where, like, the hashtag deep cut references would be made, because typically, like, the show doesn't... The, oh, which, 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 you can you can somewhat understand, the show often doesn't remember slash care too much about its own continuity. But the sense isn't a show about that, you know? It's probably for the best, considering how long it's been going. I remember one, I, I real hashtag deep cut reference was probably about like 15 years old now. Um, there's a, in the Simpsons comics, 
there was a I want to say there was a stretch girl and stretch boy stretch dude and clobber girl like mini comic uh-huh. and in that they made reference they were they were put into this I forget the context they were put they were strapped into this machine and like Professor Frank was like oh do either of you have any metal on you and Lisa says I have braces which is a reference to one of to which is an episode that, that's often voted the best episode in, in the entire run Last Edge at the Springfield it's the um because you probably heard this reference to Lisa needs a braces dental plan Lisa, Lisa needs braces, braces. dental plan that episode oh. ends with Lisa getting braces but they in in context of, of, of the show they say they're like invisible you can't see them <laughs> but I was like that's a fucking good I like that that's the that's a real Kevin Smith hashtag deep cut reference to yeah. the continuity of, of the show deep um, cut bro deep cut reference you know, I'd go off on a, on, on a quick side. So, I saw this article yesterday. No, you, where... you can't read. <laughs> Shut up! You can't see either. Hmm, it's Simpson, eh? His job description clearly specifies he's literate. Um, there's a, there's a thing where on Batman on Batman, they're talking about, like, is it, recently it was the 20, 25th anniversary of Batman Beyond. Which, Batman on Batman changed his name to Batman Beyond, so, like, in honor of our show, blah, blah, blah. And Kevin Smith was like, they should make a movie based on that. But make, make Michael Keaton old man Bruce Wayne like in the show and that movie will make a billion dollars and and so I was like Kevin Smith's is Batman Batman Beyond live action movie will make a billion dollars I'm like Kevin Smith's is every fucking superhero movie will make a billion dollars he said Batman v Superman would make two billion dollars didn't even make one he says to, to help to help out Theodore here he said that uh, Spider-Man Far From Home will make a billion dollars just because Mysterio's in it, and it's like, you no, know, like no one really cares about Mysterio. This is true. This is nothing against Michael Keaton, for the record. Yeah. Who's gonna? Like, can you imagine like America throwing out their households like, oh my god, Michael Keaton's the old Batman in Batman Beyond the movie? Nobody's gonna give a shit. No, like people, like people, geeks people, will. People yeah, I get are, that, but people like, people are will be like, oh, Batman Beyond, but it's not gonna be like. Oh, Michael Keaton is what, the old one. Well, they're saying that because Michael Keaton was the, you know, like, like Batman. Yeah, and, which, that, but the thing is, I'm just like, you know, fucking, I, there's no way to say this without even coming up of, as, like, arrogant, but, like, random jokes from a movie guy, don't give a fuck about that. No. You know, it's, exactly. like, co- comic nerds, like, me and TJ would be like, oh, that's pretty neat, but me like, and Batman again, whatever. But so I wouldn't be like I wouldn't see the this movie. movie needs to make a billion dollars. Go see it. I wouldn't see the movie just because of that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, the cast of Vulture is Batman. <laughs> huh, weird. They cast Birdman. He it's, played it's Batman. He played Ray Kroc from McDonald's. That's cool. That was a good movie. Was it? Did you see that founder? I wanted to. I liked it. Okay. Okay. Let's keep talking to the voices. Okay, just there. Like Go about it. There you go, baby. <laughs> Uh, I think I do remember about this game when I watched him play it though. I liked how I'm not gonna say the environments were diverse because it's a city or a little town, but I feel like there's like really distinct areas. Like there's downtown, there's the trailer park, there's the there are, there are beer factory. There are three different like maps. Uh-huh. There's like there's Evergreen Terrace, there's downtown Springfield, uh-huh. and there's like uh, the waterfront. Yeah. So the seven levels. You, you you jump you jump around those three kind of worlds. Okay, so like loads in the different areas. Or no, is it all continuous. No, it's just like so it kind of it doesn't really make a lot of sense because like this map is this is like the, the evergreen terrace section. So and you played this on level one, four and seven. Okay. Levels two mm-hmm. and six are downtown. Okay. When you play as Bart and a poo and then levels uh, Five and something. Yeah. Uh, no, on no. Waterfront. Yeah, on the waterfront. Okay. Uh, I think so. So it's like, but this map, you can go. This is a, a fully realized map. So really, it's like Sprinkler doesn't really connect because there's no there's no way for these levels in the context of these maps to connect to each other. Okay. So I can't just drive all over every map as I please. No, no, no. no I have no. to be in the mission of that area. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. But I would say, for what they are, the uh, the maps are pretty big. I feel like they're memorable too. It's like I'm watching you guys play this now. <coughs> I'm always like, yeah, I'm this little road or this weird little area, stuff like that. Mm. 
Anyway. That's what I'm saying. You should have gone to fucking Carl who can like maneuver better. Alright. Do you know what? I, I like ATVs, because I like to go off the road. We are gonna we are gonna jump cut to after we pass this mission. <laughs> and he did it! Hooray! Oh my god, TJ, you were, where, where'd you go? Oh, oh there he is. <laughs> We're not being driven by an eight-year-old, because that that's that's how that should work. So Is that the little fish thing from Ponyo? That's pretty cool. <laughs> you know what? I've been watching I've been watching a lot of Ponyo because Ben enjoys it. Oh Ben, ben likes Ponyo? Ben loves the scene. He likes the water scene. Well, no, he loves the scene where they make the boat big. Right, that's he goes like Daddy, boats! Boats! Aww. And so I showed footage of all submarines and exploded. You should show him Bodie McBoat. <laughs> <laughs> I have never been more proud to be English. <laughs> Chris, remember that? Yes. And that was so I was like just fucking Bodie McBoat. I can't wait. For... <laughs> I can't wait for Ben to watch Titanic. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> You <laughs> absolute piece of shit, <laughs> Stephen is K. Roll. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, you can enter the quickie mart. Go up top first, then to get some coins and shit. Is this like Yakuza where they fully realized the inside of the quickie mart? You can go in there. <gasps> in level, <laughs> in level one, that's where you go to change costumes. Oh, nice. That's right. I remember that. That's right. This game's alright. Oh, oh, oh. How many more parts of this were you wanting to do? Because I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> I don't know if I could do it, man! The contract only covers so much, dude. Shit's getting weird! <laughs> <coughs> oh, you're going to the Dead Simpsons character house because he's not allowed anymore. Sorry, Yaku. Oh. Are you literally going to do that after you do everything in this LP now? K rule twice for yes. <laughs> Hashtag K rule yes. Hashtag King Cooper invented racism. For the name this good, it has to be good. My throne! <laughs> My throne! Thanks for this. That's where we uh, got it. Here we go. Oh my god, it looks just like the cartoon! Do I get a choice from the episode of the thing with the same thing? Hey! What? You're Tony Randall! <laughs> Tell me about the I love- Assimilation. Assimilation. You know what I love? The picture above his bed is the 3D models, but that picture behind Marge is like really old, bad, like stock art. Look at that! What the fuck? <laughs> Look at those JPEGs. I know, right? That's a great 2000 PowerPoint. I love that there's a joke here where Grandpa says, you know, I, I can remember. It happened so long ago, I can only explain it in sepia tone. <laughs> it goes sepia tone. That's a good joke. <laughs> what a joke. This is when you learn, this is when the, uh, the plot for this game is fucking a crazy town. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. I'm gonna spoil it for Chris and spoil it for everyone back at home. Oh no! Nobody's watching this for the story. Right, they found that Kang and Kodos are like are not point. They 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 put shit in Buzz Cola to kind of turn the Springfielders into um, mindless drones because Earth is a reality TV show on their planet called Foolish Humans. Oh, huh. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> That's like Crash Team Racing when Nitrous Oxide wants to turn the world into a parking lot. Nothing like that, Chris. Nothing like that. That's like in Sunset Overdrive when the energy drink turns everyone into mutant zombies. That's kind of like that! Thanks, Insomniac. And I think with this, uh, we will end Bart's story. Marge's story? Marge, yeah, that's what I said. Oh, it's the couch. Can I sit on it? Wait. Uh, oh, I have. That's right, I remember now. I don't know why the, the door glows, because that's not the way you enter Bart's bedroom. Well, the door glows that because you can go in anyway. I know, but that's weird. That, that, I don't know. It's weird to enter my son's room by entering my house through the front door and going to it. I'd rather jump on the back light. Mom, why did you come in my door through the window, and why are you dressed like a convict? It's a secret to everybody. Florida State. Mm. 
Cola. They gave us some for that up in the alien spaceship. They're using it. We can't hear it. Go, I think he drinks the cola, then he starts actually speaking human words. Oh no, I guess not. Uh oh. Oh, I, you know, I, I, I thought this was the end of my story. I guess not. There's a lot more game to go, my friend. Yeah, but I think we'll call it a day for this part. So please join us back in six seconds when we do the next part of Simpsons. Bye. Ah. Oh.